Hi, I'm Erie, and I have a crippling addiction to androids. A question I get asked a lot on various social media, not really on YouTube as much though, is what is my favorite Nendroid in my collection? And of course, a deviation of that, what is my favorite figure in my collection? Now, when you have over a hundred like I do, it's kind of harder to answer that question, but today I'm going to give you my top five favorite Nendroids, at least at the moment. Now, the thing about having a top five list is it really only caters to my own collection and my own personal opinions and likes. So today, I have a very special guest helping me out with this list, and I'll introduce him right here, right now. Please welcome Mr. 414 Anime. So, uh, yeah, first of all, I just want to say a massive thanks to Eri Chan for uh, letting me feature on her channel. So, I've been collecting Dendroids for a good probably two years now, maybe a little bit longer, maybe three, who knows. Um, so, I've, I've collected quite the vast majority of Dendroids, so picking just five was a lot more harder than I thought. When you first gave me this uh, little task, I was like, oh, that's easy, I can think of, I, I think four came to mind straight away, and then the final one, I was just like, ah. Uh, who do I choose? <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's uh, kick off with, um, you know, these are in no particular order, uh, but I'm going to start with the obvious one. So for those of you that know me, and as you can tell from my my background here, uh, we're starting with Kurumi Tokusaki from Data Live. Um, this actually, I think this was probably the first Nendroid I ever got. The hands that she's got here don't actually come with the Nendroid. Uh, they are uh, from the, I can't remember what they are. Like, you know, where you make your own kind of like, and you paint them and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I I put them on there because I thought they were really cute, but I love uh, everything about this Nendroid. She really does capture the waifu perfectly, and it's just a really, really cute AF figure. I mean, look at her. Look at her. You can't deny that. You can't deny it. Uh, but no, she's fantastic. She comes with, uh, I think, three different facial expressions. You've got the one there, you've got like a normal smile, and then you've got a crazy face, um, which looks really, really awesome. She comes with uh, both her flintlock and pistol. She comes with some really cool expressions. Uh, and of course, she, um, she comes with a like an, a stand as well, which, where is it? Is there, a, is there an image of it here? Um, there is no imagery. Um, yeah, this is this is the box anyway, but I'm sure you'll see that from a B-roll and whatnot. Um, yeah, this one comes with like Zaf Kiel on the back as well. Um, well, on the back, I so say you can peel that out and then obviously it's got its own little stand and you can pose her in all of the uh, classic Kurumi battle poses. I can't, can't, <laughs> I can't get this back in the box though. Yeah, so for obvious reasons, other than she's my waifu, she is a fantastic Nendroid to look at. I, I find great pleasure looking at that one. Now today I'm going to be starting off my list with a very near and dear Nendroid to my heart. This was actually an Nendroid that I've been trying to get for a while, and when I finally got her, I was ecstatic. The first Nendroid on my list at number five is Hifumi from New Game. I loved New Game so much. It came at a time when I was still living at home and I was very like closed off on my anime preferences. I hadn't started watching Shonen again quite yet, so all the anime I would watch was comedy and like slice of life. But New Game really hit a special spot in my heart and Hifumi really was a character that I related with a lot, seeing as she's very cut off but doing her work and like doing it her way. I thought the Nendroid itself was really cute as well. I just thought this Nendroid was really well done, but Hifumi definitely triumphed over Alba's Nendroid, for me at least, a lot. <laughs> right then, next up. So, um, for my three favorite series, obviously we've got Date Alive, we've got Kogias, and then finally Steins Gate. Sometimes when you see a Nendroid go on pre-order, you'll make a small audible noise uh, of excitement, of pure joy, of, of this is the best day ever, and you just anxiously wait for that release uh, when it comes. Uh, and I, I, I had this with uh, none other than Rintaro Okabe from uh, Steins Gate. I absolutely love Rintaro's character and uh, Hoi Kiyoma in particular. So as soon as I could see uh, that this uh, was an android and this was a pose that you could go with, it was a no brainer for me. Um, I just love the overall. Uh, this one's like one of the very few like sturdy androids as well. So uh, yeah, he, he hardly ever falls off or his pieces come um, 
come loose and whatnot. For a, for a character like Okabe, he actually does come with quite a few cool accessories. So he, obviously you've got the uh, Hoi and Kiyoma pose, you've got one with his hands in his pockets, you've got one of the future gadgets, I think it's the photon uh, blade, which is basically the lightsaber. Uh, you've got him with his mobile phone as well when he's talking uh, to himself about the organization. And uh, of course you've got a, a bottle of Dr. Pepper as well that he's drinking. It's fantastic. It's a beautiful Nendroid and 100% easily hands down one of my favorites. As I um, moved him backwards, he fell off his stand. It's fine. Now, number four on my list is another special little like slice of life cute girl that I really appreciate. And this is an anime that no one is a stranger to. Number four on my list is Shima Rin from Yuru Camp. Hero Camp was another one of those anime that I just kind of, I didn't watch at the time that it was airing, so I scooped it up later on like a whim, and I watched it all in two days. I really do love this anime, it's really pretty, and it taught me a lot about camping, even though I've been camping multiple times, and there was a lot of stuff that I didn't even know about camping that this anime taught me. I do have the DX version of her, and I just, I love her little bun. And I do have, at the moment, every single Yuru Camp Android pre-ordered, which is also very exciting because I do love all the other girls, but Shima Rin is my favorite, and if she wasn't 16, I would be willing to say she's my waifu as well. This next one was like a slightly harder decision. I know I wanted to pick an Android from this series, um, but like choosing which one to go for, because they've all done so well with what they've released. Uh, I went with Aqua from Kono Suba. I love this Aqua figure. She just looks absolutely adorable. I love that you can like pose her with the uh, nature's beauty there coming off her fans and uh, she just looks really good. Her hair is sculpted so nicely. The colors are nailed and like, she's just an absolutely adorable Nendroid. I could have easily made the joke there of, you know, she's um, a useless Nendroid, but she is she is far from that of a useless Nendroid. And, like, one of the things that I love about this Aqua Nendroid is, like how, like, how versatile it is. This one comes with a lot of different bits and pieces. So you've got her with her staff. Uh, in terms of like, in terms of faces, uh, you've got like the expression that we had there. We've got like a cheeky smile. We've got the uh, the, the 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 best face of that. I'd, like I've recently changed the pose on this, but the the pose I had before is of like the uh, the the face which just screams Kazuma. Uh, so yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, like I mentioned, she comes with uh, like um, her her stuff and obviously the fans with the water. Is there anything else in this that I've missed off? I don't think so, but yeah, she she comes with like different leg parts. You can have a leg cocked up, and she you can just pose this one in multiple different ways, and uh, she looks fantastic with the other Kono Super Androids. Uh, it was a hard decision, uh, as I really love the Kazuma one, but uh, Aqua just just nailed it for me on this one. Number three on my list is a husbando I very deeply care for. And some might say, Eerie, why is that your husbando? That's really weird. He's a skeleton. Coming in at number three is a favorite of the channel, Lord Einzel Gone. I would have put Einz higher up on my list, but considering the accessories and what he comes with, it's kind of hard to plan him correctly unless you have Albedo. And I do have Albedo, however, I didn't want to put them together because they are very much separate Nendroids. Um, his staff fell. Uh, but I do really love the Einz Nendroid. I thought it was really awesome after I watched the anime and found out that they even had an Android that I needed to have him. He was very hard to find them at the time. Um, I did get him as a graduation gift from a family member and he is quite cute and menacing. Next up, sticking with the uh, Izakai theme, um, I went for Amelia from ReZero. So anyone that knows me, you'll know that I am uh, Team Amelia, pro I love Amelia. And f without a doubt, just this pose as it is, makes this an android that sticks out the the jackets or like cloak that she's wearing this just looks so freaking good and i it's one of like the best things about this android and there's a lot of good things about it um but the facial expression on this one as well just look at that face don't look at that face it is so kawaii and like if failing failing the jacket not being a thing can we just admire puck Look how well incredibly detailed that is for such a small piece. 
So like those two things alone make it stand out, but like the Amelia Nendroid still comes with more. So yeah, in terms of faces, she comes with like the, the natural smile face there. She's got kind of a crying happy face. Uh, I think it was something to do with the scene at the end of season one where she was saying to like Subaru, uh, why do you keep like trying to save me and whatnot. And then we've got like an aggressive face. Uh, and with that, you compose her with like the ice uh, ice shards and like the ice magic that she uses. Uh, and that just looks really good. Her overall design, like if you're not using the coat or the cloak as well, it just looks so good. They've like nailed the outfit on Amelia and she looks so kawaii, but I can't not not poser how I have her right now. She looks absolutely fantastic. Subaru is on his way as well, and I'm really, really, really looking forward to posing those two together. It's going to be amazing. Now, coming in at number two is an android that has many, many, many different androids, and it was really hard for me to choose just one because I do have a lot of her forms that I very much so appreciate, and that android is Hatsune Miku. Um, I have like six different Hatsune Miku androids, as you can even see in my background that I do deeply care for and I love their designs. However, the one that does hit number two for me is also an award winner for me, uh, the Sakura Miku number 500, Bloom in Japan. I got this from my mom when I was 18 for Christmas. This was the second android that she ever got me. Um, my mother supports <laughs> my hobbies, although she is rather critical of the financial aspect of them, which I respect, you know, it's, it's not a cheap hobby and very much so you do have to make sacrifices in other categories in order to frivolously live with having nendroids. However, the Bloom in Japan Sakura Miku is such a beautiful nendroid. It's won me multiple contests with photography and just posing with her. She is such a joy to have and really can, like, make it really can make any Sakura display or Miku display that much more vibrant and beautiful because of her pink color compared to Miku's standard bluey green color. She's also kind of like fancy and like not hard to get but like people really like qualify her as like one of those special nendroids. I don't know. I watched the Anime Man's tour of the nendroid facility thing. I, I saw she was on the list. She's fancy. All right then, final Nendroid. So like I was saying, the, these first four, uh, I, I instantly knew. The only one that was a slight difficult one was uh, Aqua and, you know, like how I said, you know, which one am I gonna choose from Konosuba? This last one was the hardest. I went through my entire collection and I changed my mind probably like four or five times before I, I you know, I actually sat down and nailed it. And I was like, you know what? I just really love looking at this Nendroid. It, every time I, it, it gets in my line of sight, I just think to myself, that is a damn good Nendroid, and I, I'm, I'm very happy I own that. And Nendroid in question, drumroll please, is Satania from Gabriel Dropout. Like, I, I can ima I bet no one would imagine that I would have picked uh, Satania from Gabriel Dropout as one of my top five Nendroids, but every time I look at this Nendroid, I, I get that like, oh my God, I just love this Nendroid. I mean, look at the face. How amazing is that? I just love the like the that is that face there has like 100% captured Satania for me without a doubt and like I don't think I'll ever not pose her like that because I just I just love that it's so good. But saying that that's a very hard decision because she comes with two other face plates that look just as good, uh, if not slight. I don't. It, it, I, I was really confident at first. And now I'm now I'm looking at the box here. Now I'm looking at this box. Um, I don't know. She's got a really kawaii face where she's hiding behind uh, a packet of food uh, and she's got a, a shocked face as well. The shocked face is my least favorite out of all of them. Um, but the cute face and the uh, <laughs> face is, 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 is oh, they are amazing. It comes with her familiar as well, the little dog. Um, I accidentally left him upstairs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she comes with like food accessories. She's got the, uh, like, the bread. Uh, packet, I can't remember what the packet of food was. Um, and she also comes with different, um, like, I don't think she comes with an alternate leg. No, she, she just comes with some alternate arms as to pull these different poses. We've reached number one of my list. I hope that you've enjoyed this video overall, and I hope that you've also enjoyed 414 anime's choices as well as my own. It's very interesting to see the diverse difference between my choices and his choices, both spectacular. If you know me, you probably know what number one is. 
If you don't know me, you might be surprised at what number one is. He is another husbando of mine, as well as another skeleton husbando of mine. You might say, Eerie, you have a problem, and I'd say, you're darn right I do. This dendroid is number one on my list for multiple reasons. Not only his rarity, but his price, and just how much I darn love this anime myself. Number one is Elias. Elias Ainsworth from the Ancient Magus Bride. Now this Nendroid here set me back about $200 when I got him. I got him pre-owned, I got him very special, and I got him on a deal. This Nendroid is worth $900 to $600, and they don't seem to be planning to print any more of him. <sighs> He's beautiful. He lacks a lot of accessories, but I love him. And I would never, ever, ever think to get rid of this Nendroid, even if someone offered me, like, I don't know, $2,000, $1,000. Like, he's such a special and unique piece in a lot of people's collections. As well as the fact that he's number uh, 666 in the Nendroid lineup, which I just think is comical. Now, I will pass it off to Sir 414 to say his final statements about his own list. But there we go, they were my top five Nendroids from my own personal collection. Uh, thank you again for Eri. Um, letting me uh, showcase these on her channel. Um, she is very good people. It was an absolute pleasure to feature on your channel. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed my top five Nendroids to everyone that is viewing this. Uh, let us know in the comments below which uh, one is your favorite out of my five or let us know in the comments who is your favorite Nendroid or even better, what Nendroid are you very, very much anticipating? It's all for grabs. Fill that comment section up. Uh, I will sign off here and uh, I'll give you back to Eri. So once again, Eri-chan, arigato gozaimasu. It was a pleasure having you with me today on this video and I really do love the selection that you chose. I can tell each one of those Nendroids, especially that Miss uh, Kurumi Tokasaki, means a lot to you. Feel free to go give uh, 414 Anime a follow. His content is fantastic. I watch it myself personally and I really do enjoy it. And also feel free to leave comments in the comment section below about, you know, Nendroids, the series that we talked about today, anything that you see in either of our backgrounds. And uh, feel free to give a like and a subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.